Yo, what's up? Today, we're making a song, and I'm gonna show how I record and mix vocals at home. So I've been making videos about music for just about three years now, and one of the most asked questions I received is, how do you mix your vocals? To be honest, it isn't anything special. It's not like I use any secret sauce plugin or anything like that. It's just a very simple workflow that suits my voice and the type of music I make. So today, I'm gonna go through my new song, Stone Cold, <clears throat> out on all streaming platforms, and show everything that went into how I recorded and mixed the vocals in my bedroom. I'm gonna be using FL Studio because that is my main axe, and I'm not gonna use any third-party plugins for this. I also wanna preface this by saying I am in no way an audio engineer. I'm just a guy in my room that makes stuff that sounds good to me. Uh, but before we get into any mixing, I wanna talk briefly about hardware and preparation. If you are completely new to recording vocals and have no idea about what you need, I'ma say this, work within your means. If you're down bad, you could buy a $10 pop filter and record on your phone. Some people can make that work. But if you have some type of setup, the bare minimum you need to record vocals is a condenser mic and a computer. There's also different mic inputs that you should know about. I'm talking about USB and XLR. USB mics are very accessible and convenient, but they won't deliver the best quality because they rely on your computer sound card. So they'll only sound as good as your computer will let it. XLR mics are often cheaper than their USB counterparts, but that's because there's no way to plug it into a computer on its own. So you must own an audio interface, which is gonna run you another hundred bucks at least. But the sound you get from an XLR and interface pair will sound much better than any typical USB mic, and you'll have room for recording other inputs in the future, so it's definitely worth the investment. Of course, there are professional grade USB microphones, but for these prices, you could pretty much buy any mic and interface combo you want. Remember, music equipment can get very expensive, so please work within your means. I'm no accountant, but if you can't afford to buy it twice, you shouldn't buy it once. My setup is very simple. I use an Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR mic and an M-Audio M-Track 2x2 audio interface. I paired this up with a cheap pop filter and a $30 mic stand I got from Guitar Center. It cost me just under 400 bucks altogether, and I've been using this setup for about four years now. There's also other hardware like preamps and stuff, but honestly, I don't know much about that because I don't own any. I know there's a very condensed segment of microphones and hardware, so if you want to know more, I definitely recommend watching this video from Soul Brother number 3. But whatever your price range is, get your equipment and get started. But hold up, before we can record, we gotta talk about preparation. Maintaining a healthy voice is very important, so I like to do a couple of things before I hop on a mic. Just to make sure my voice is in good shape, I always drink hot tea with honey before recording. Uh, do not drink anything cold before talking, it's bad for your vocal cords. Hot or room temperature drinks are fine. I also like snacking on hard candy and cough drops just to make sure my throat doesn't dry out. Or, if you have time, you could take a hot shower. The steam loosens up the muscles in your throat and opens up your nasal passages. My nose gets pretty stuffy very easily, so this helps a little bit with that. If you're Asian, you know what I'm talking about. This is called Tiger Balm or White Monkey. It is a medicinal herb ointment that's used for everything. It's like vapor rub on steroids. I rub some right underneath my nose and it opens up my nasal passages. Shit got me breathing in 4K. You also want to minimize as much sound and echo in your room as possible. When you speak, the sound will bounce off of hard surfaces and your mic will pick it up. You're gonna need stuff to absorb that sound. Acoustic foam, stuffed animals, carpet floor, or even just putting a blanket over you can all absorb sound, so use that to your advantage. Uh, for my room, I bought these acoustic panels on Amazon, but honestly my room is still pretty echoey. But it's fine for what I do, I don't really scream or talk loud on the mic. You also want to turn off anything else in the room that's making noise. TV, AC unit, fans, heavy jewelry, your parents yelling at you to get a real job. Just make sure your room is quiet for like 5 minutes while you record. I remember trying to record at a client's house while his roommate was home playing Fortnite. It was so frustrating trying to get a good take while his dude was in the back like but hey, if you want to play something, you should definitely play the piano with Melodics. This video is sponsored by Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that teaches you how to play the piano. You can plug and play with any MIDI keyboard or drum pad, or if all you have is your computer keyboard, that works too. Melodics has a huge assortment of lessons and courses for any level of proficiency. Whether you are completely new to Melodics or want to jump right into something like scales or a specific training course, Melodics has you covered. Melodics can teach the very basics like finger placement and timing, and tests your technical abilities through its exercises. It keeps track of your accuracy and timing and gives you feedback on what you need to work on. On top of that, the courses are designed with different genres in mind, like hip-hop, electronic, orchestral, and everything in between. And all of the knowledge you gain from Melodics can definitely be used outside of the app, like working on your own music, jamming out in a studio session, and even performing live. If you want the app, there is a link in the description, it is free to download. Now let's get into the recording process. So for the first time on this channel, I actually didn't make the beat that I'm rapping on. 
Uh, the beat was actually produced by Eskry, a very talented producer from Turkey. I'll leave his links in the description. I found this beat online. Bought it, started writing. Remember to actually buy beats, guys. It's important to support your producers. Also, producers, please make sure you put the song tempo and key in the title of your track. It just makes it easier for everyone. It took me a few days to finish my lyrics, but when I was ready to record, I opened the audio settings and changed my input and output to my interface. This changes the active sound card your FL Studio is using. If you don't have an interface, switch it to this one and lower the buffer rate and latency to as low as possible. Low latency means that there will be less lag between you speaking in the mic and what you hear back through the headphones. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Please record with headphones. In the mixer, I'm going to switch one of the inputs to my mic. You're going to go up here and switch to wherever your mic input is. On my interface, my mic is plugged into input 1, so let's put this to input 1. Also, make sure your gain isn't too high on your interface. Green is good, red is dead. Stay out of red. I also like to put the master volume at like 80% instead of 100, just so I have a good amount of headroom. Testing, testing. This is my voice with just a microphone, no effects. As you can hear, my voice quality isn't great, so I'm going to add some effects to work as a preamp. I like to use a limiter just to make sure my voice doesn't peak, a high pass EQ to cut the lows from my voice because my voice is pretty bassy, and I also like to use a sound geyser as a compressor. I know a lot of people don't like sound geyser, I can respect that. Uh, you can use whatever you want, I just like to use it because it's very simple. <laughs> just two clicks, and it's perfect. Why are there so many Kyle Beats ads? I also use Massimus as a de -er to get rid of those harsh S sounds. All I use is the de -er split band preset. And that's the chain I use to record vocals. If you want to hear your voice with like a full effects chain like reverb or auto-tune, uh, you can do that by creating a send from your input to another channel. Just find the channel you want and right click and press route to this track only. Just make sure that you are selecting the original channel before you record. To record, select your mic input channel and then press record right here. It'll ask you how you want it exported. I usually do into the playlist as an audio clip. Once you select it, you'll hear the metronome hit four times and then it'll record. Some people like to record everything in one take, but I record my verses in segments, and then I cut together all of my favorite ones to make the final cut. With the hook, verses, and ad-libs recorded, it took about 25 different takes altogether. This may seem like a lot, but that's really nothing. Some people have hundreds of takes before they get one they like. And my favorite part about recording at home is that there's no worry about studio time. This process can take as long as you want it to, so there's no need to rush. And I have a ton of failed attempts. Like, I run out of breath in some takes, voice and I- <gasps> <laughs> Fuck. I forget my lyrics. Not be my apprentice. Can't copy my essence. You're my grandest like a tech. Or I just have a terrible tone. Shoot my shot at the top of the key. Miss still shot when you targeting me. Shoot my shot at the top of the key. Miss still shot when you targeting me. I know some people really like my voice, but I feel that it still leaves a lot to be desired. I know my strengths, but I definitely recognize my shortcomings as an MC, and I'm always trying to improve on them. Here's a snippet of the final take. Yeah, yeah, money bad, money bad, ain't had none of that. Get my coin in the chase on hundred racks. Always asking when I'm coming back. Hear my voice and I know they running back too much on my dinner plate. <gasps> Flow so hot, they disintegrate. <laughs> Protag of my anime, out the box the way I innovate. The overall recording still sounds pretty boring, so this is where I begin the mixing process. Now here we're gonna do some stuff to polish up my vocals. This is the longest and most tedious part of the recording process. In this section, it's important to have a rough idea of what vocal takes you're satisfied with. If you're not happy with the take, do it again. There's no amount of plugins or effects that can fix a bad performance. Performance is very important. That's why there's artists that can go viral with a $20 microphone and the rich trust fund kid with the expensive equipment can't break 100 plays on SoundCloud. This is performance art, so you can't be scared to perform. Now you should get all of your favorite takes and route them all to the same channel. You can do that by moving this knob right here, or if you're using a newer version of FL Studio, it looks like this. Just put them all to the same number. For example, I put all of my favorite takes of the main verse on channel 6, backup vocals went to channel 7, and ad-libs went to channel 9. To clean up the vocals, you only really need 4 effects. Compressor, limiter, EQ, and de -esser. Compression reduces the audio's dynamic range. It raises the quietest parts and lowers the loudest parts of the audio. Kind of squeezes the sound together. And y'all already know what my favorite compressor is. <laughs> I'm gonna use Sound Geyser in mode A and then leave the dry wet knob around here. It's on Hunter Racks, always asking when I'm coming back. Hear my voice and I know they running back too much on my dinner plate. <gasps> Flow so hot, they disintegrate. <laughs> Pro tag of my anime out the box. To now my voice sounds a bit nicer and louder, but some parts of the performance is still too loud. 
like right here. Too much on my dinner plate, <gasps> flow so hot to disintegrate. So we're gonna use a limiter to lower these loud spikes in the vocals. This is the default preset, but I lowered the ceiling to quiet down any parts that peak past this point. Too much on my dinner plate, <gasps> flow so hot to disintegrate. <gasps> Protag of my anime, out the box the way I innovate. Now the voice sounds pretty dope, but we gotta get rid of some of the frequencies so it sits better on the beat. It's still a bit too bassy for my liking and it classes a bit with the lows in the beat. So we're gonna use a vocal presence preset in the EQ so it boosts the highs and lowers the lows. But I'm also gonna add another EQ just to cut some more frequencies past 152 hertz. My coin in the chase on hundred racks, always asking when I'm coming back. Hear my voice and I know they running back too much on my dinner plate. Felt so hot to disintegrate. Protag of my anime. And just to make sure my highs aren't piercing my ears, I use another de-esser just to make sure. And lastly, I use a small amount of reverb just to kind of gloss everything together. It makes the whole take sound more cohesive. I use a large hall preset and lowered the wet signal. I also made the size bigger and then I cut the lows. Money bad, money bad, ain't had none of that. Get my coin in the chase on hundred racks. Always asking when I'm coming back. Hear my voice and I know they run it back. That's pretty much it. Uh, whenever you have an effects chain you like, you can right click and save mixer track state. And now you have a preset to reference in the future. Now I load that same effects preset and use it for my background vocals. It's exactly the same, but I added a stereo shaper so the vocals take up more stereo space. Money bad, money bad, ain't had none of that. Get my coin in the chase on hundred racks. Always asking when I'm coming back. Hear my voice and I know they run it back. The ad libs also have the same effects chain as earlier, but I took the takes and then forced one to the left ear and the other one to the right. Too much on my dinner plate. Yeah. Felt so hot to disintegrate. Yeah. Protag of my anime. Out the box the way I innovate. I might roll with the punches. And that is it. Here's my track. It's called Stone Cold out on all streaming platforms. Enjoy. Let's go. Turn that shit up, man. Do this for my can fall. Y'all be making moves, but y'all barely move an inch though. Hard for me to miss though. In your head like Shinzo. I'll be smashing windows, stone cold with the intro. Yeah, yeah. Money bad, money bad. Ain't had none of that. Get my coin in the chase on hundred racks. Always asking when I'm coming back. Hear my voice and I know they running back. Too much on my dinner plate. Felt so hot to disintegrate. Pro tag of my anime. Out the box the way I innovate. I might roll with the punches, but that don't mean that I'm nice. I'm fighting fire with fire. That's how I'm breaking the ice. My mind sharp as katanas. You play with me and get sliced. My flow is hot as a sauna. I got them dropping like flies. Okay, suicide doors. Take them to the morgue. Don't you ever play with the boy. Mess with the bull. I play Matador. Ain't playing games when I search and destroy. Shoot my shot at the top of the key. Miss your shot when you targeting me. If some boy got a problem with me, they know mine and I pop in the way. Never gonna stress it. You will not fuck up my bed rest. They be blowing up my headset. You cannot be my apprentice. You, you, you can't take my essence. I be grinding like a tech deck. Making waves like I'm a tempest on the radio like Jet Set. Yeah. It's a hit. Whoa, do this for my kinfo. Y'all be making moves, but y'all barely move an inch, though. 